Who needs parks? I suppose nobody really needs parks. Nobody except people, their children, their pets. Trees and grass don't need parks. They can always grow out in the country. This may explain why the professional highway builders aren't particularly moved by park pleading. The urgent need for improved transportation in Manhattan has prompted study of the west side as a corridor for an interstate highway. A special agency, the West Side Highway Project, has submitted various proposals for an interstate highway to be built from the Battery Tunnel at the lower part of the island up to 42nd Street at Midtown. It has been argued that such a commitment to an interstate highway would not stop at Midtown and would, in fact, necessitate interstate construction all the way north to the George Washington Bridge, thereby unleashing the danger that Riverside Park will be mutilated and polluted, and access to the waterfront will be eliminated. But regardless of how far north the highway extends, many members of the community feel that a new multi-lane highway in Manhattan is an unacceptable answer to our transportation problem. Our concern is that what will not emerge from the highway studies is the human equation, the way people feel about their parks, the way they use them, the quality of life parks help sustain. For this reason, more than 40 photographers have banded together to try to capture these elusive feelings each in a personal way, celebrates a particular moment to be shared by all of us as we turn the pages of this book. However, the photographs that they have contributed are not confined to the pages of this book to be tucked away on a dusty shelf, but are gaining the widest possible exposure by means of outdoor traveling shows and public exhibitions in and out of the West Side neighborhood. This project is a volunteer labor of love for all concerned, love for the park and for the invaluable access to the river. Above all, it will remind us of the essential need we all share in maintaining the delicate balance between concrete and nature in our lives. The best we can do is observe what exists today, a park that may be in less than ideal condition, but which has not yet been reduced to a narrow slit of brown grass between rows of polluting cars. It is our hope that the spirit of these images will help us understand that which cannot be measured. From such an understanding may come the impetus for preservation.